Yo, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, uh, it's kind of a random video. First of all, I didn't film. This is kind of a random video. This was less decided last minute. So uh, in today's video, uh, you'll see footage from uh, two or three days ago. Now, this the, this project was decided on top, like on top of time, right there, right now. So, so I realized I didn't really do an intro. So here is the intro for this video. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I hope you guys are okay. I hope you guys actually enjoyed my last video, um, which was the budget mutation one. But there is a few problems on that video because I actually mixed up the cobalt mutation and opaline mutation a bit. So I'm not gonna delete. I'm not gonna delete it. I'm not gonna delete it. Just so uh, I can learn from my mistakes. I'll be talking about the mistakes on later on in this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a uh, DIY Avery using some old furniture. That's simple. So it's probably the only video on YouTube. I mean, I haven't checked or uh, you know and searched it up, but it's probably the only video on YouTube that you can use that uh, that show that will show you. Uh, that, uh, to use an old furniture to make an Avery. Now, now, now. Remember that this is just like a like a temporary solution or slash thing. You know, you could do uh, probably the cheapest way, and it's going to be budget friendly. So, uh, in total, you know, I'll show you the total in the end of each video. Um, it's something cheap. I mean, it's not. You got the main part already, which is the furniture. So. It's not something that you're gonna, you know, spend a whole lot of money on, uh, but it's something cheap, uh, something that's, you know, gonna is long lasting. First of all, long lasting, and then it's something that's gonna allow you to keep outside during uh, summer times. Uh, probably not the best winter time because my plan is to keep them outside uh, during uh, summer when it's hot and temperatures don't fall below two degrees or uh, three degrees. Um, and then during back when September hits, they'll come back inside the house where they are now. So it's just like a summer outhouse kind of thing for them. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy, enjoy today's video. And you know, I didn't really do an intro, so I thought I might just as well. I'm actually gonna edit now, so thought I might as well do an intro uh, for this video coming. Enjoy the video. Uh, I'll take you back to previous Lucas where he was outside in the sunshine doing some awesome stuff. So, see you guys then. So guys, what we got here is an old cupboard, old, uh, you know, bedroom furniture, and we're gonna be making a uh, outdoor cage or Avery or whatever you wanna call it. I'm not really sure how it's gonna come out, but fingers crossed, uh, we're gonna make something awesome for the summer. So I know many of you have, you know, rented houses, you know, homeowners or, uh, some some people have are not allowed. Some people are not allowed to build aviaries or big structures for pets. Uh, and this is an, this is an, an, an this is an example. This is an example of a uh, cheap uh, DIY, uh, simple to demolish if one day you need to leave the uh, property, or um, if you just want to dismantle it and make a bigger one. Simple, cheap way of you know uh, making your birds uh, happy first of all and simple way for you to enjoy the chirping of the birds outside so let's get on to it so first thing first thing first is we're going to remove these rails these are these are what make the cupboard come in and out we're going to remove these uh, get rid of um, any sharp edges and yeah let's do this So we, we have now removed all the railings, so here they are. Uh, obviously recycle these or you know put them in the correct bin. We don't want to damage this planet any any more than we are right now. Um, yeah, and this is it. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a clean, go with a wet cloth or uh, just, you know, something damp just to get rid of this muck. And then we'll go to the next step. I mean, it's pretty simple. Uh, we don't want to go too into complex, you know, too into detail with this. We don't. We don't want to make something that requires, you know, a lot of um, thinking, a lot of um, planning, a lot of planning. But we do want something simple, something that would work for our birds. So 
let's continue. So once we've cleaned it, uh, next thing to start thinking about is putting the floor. Some will have, some wardrobes will have floor, uh, like a, uh, you know, a, a closed space, not like this one, and some will have, as you can see, closed uh, spaces. So, uh, for those who do have open spaces, you know, get any type of wood just to cover the floor. This will allow uh, the budgies not to escape. So, yeah, let's measure this up and let's put the floor in, shall we? Right, now we've got it all cut. Now we're gonna see if it fits perfectly in there. It may get stuck during the halfway. Um, so if, if it does, just give it a little tap with the hammer. We're gonna screw this in, make sure this is secure. So as you guys can see, uh, I have done it. So here you go, look. So I've screwed this in, the floor in now, it's pretty stable. I've also added uh, this piece of timber and it's as you can see it's it comes out a little bit now this is going to be the part where they uh catch a bit of sunshine let's say so this part we have no roofing we'll have just mesh all of this part we have mesh all the way down here to the face and so this will be the sunshine area where they can have a little bit of air coming through where they can catch a bit of sunshine directly from the sun up there into here if you really want to do it uh, you can do it you're gonna have to think a little more of what you're gonna do um, in this case I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to do it so so guys I'm gonna leave this today uh, it's getting a bit late I've been here just one hour just preparing this floor and doing this extension a little bit tomorrow we're gonna come back out and we're gonna start putting uh, some insulation now this is optional if you really want to do it uh, go ahead if you think it's a waste of time then don't do it but i want to just get that extra security just in case the temperatures drop overnight um the budgies won't be harmed by the minus uh, degree of temperature not that it's gonna reach that that temperature but you know i want to play it safe so tomorrow we're gonna put a bit of insulation and then put planks of thin planks of wood just to cover that and get a bit of warmth staying in around this cage so see you guys tomorrow the next day so guys we're starting off the next day uh around one o'clock in the evening and we're gonna start by going to bnq uh whilst we uh pick out some wheels and pick up some other stuff that we may need for this build so let's head over to bnq first i'm going to feed the tur turtles um the second meal of the day and we're gonna go as you can see they're right here all of them yeah, and we're gonna go uh, to BNQ and get ourselves some wheels, some supplies, and I'll meet you guys on the way to BNQ. So let's get onto it. Uh, before we go, I want to show you something cool. So my hand's lit, sitting on eggs again. Uh, she's on four eggs at the moment, uh, and she had five, but one of them broke in the beginning. So um, I separated the young, the youngster that she had before, uh, and now she has four eggs. They're nearly on their last day, so they're about to hatch any moment now. So I'll keep you guys updated uh, on this build. We're probably gonna do uh, two parts to this build as there's, uh, I, I wanna take it step, step by step for you guys to understand clearly and all that. Bearing in mind, I'm not a carpenter or nothing. I'm just, this is just like a DIY project that you can do at home. So if you have any old furniture that you wanna use, you can do it and you know, uh, it's easy, simple and to do so stay along and let's get on let's go to bnq real quick
we have now arrived at B&Q. Now we're gonna continue uh, searching. We're gonna go in and search for the things that we want. So let's go. So we're here at the wheel section. Now, uh, I'm not sure, if, because I was gonna use these ones, but I thought to myself, these are too small. So I'm gonna probably go for something like, something like this, something like strong, heavy duty, uh, something that will hold, uh, be able to come in and out without any problem. Uh, during the years to come so I don't want anything cheap but I want something that would lo is long lasting and heavy duty something that's um, that has quality on it so we've ended up going with these wheels uh, they're small but they're you know as you can see heavy duty it feels really sturdy and we also bought some some locks and the screws for it to go on so we're gonna go back home and we're gonna probably come here another day uh, to get some mesh and other stuff but we, we put, this video is going to be in two parts so we're going, this is going to be a first part and then we're going to do the second part which is going to be in the upcoming video so let's head home and we're going to pay for this see you guys back at home Nice. So today's plan is to put the wheels on uh, and see how that looks like, uh, see what we could improve. I did put on this plastic floor. Now this is gonna help from when cleaning. So when uh, the birds poo or um, there's seeds on the floor, uh, it's easy to clean. So you get a wipe, get some disinfectant, obviously pet safe, most important pet safe. And you give it a wipe with a damp cloth. Uh, and it's easier and it's better than having um you know pure wood on the floor which is which then you have to scrape off and so on and so forth so yeah i decided to put that in probably will do uh on you know the rest still not sure but uh yeah let's put, fit in the wheels and see how it looks so now there's two types of wheels you can get so there's one of these pads these brackets that fit on like this and then there's ones which have like a um which have like a, uh, um, a shaft or like some kind of bolt sticking out, which are which then you have to drill in and tighten it from the top. But again, we want to make this as simple as possible. So cheap, effective, and easy to dismantle if one day you need to leave or you know just want to get rid of it. So um, this cost me uh, in total with all the screws and that, with all the screws, and I bought some extras. This cost me around twenty five. 25 pounds 20 pounds uh probably roughly 15 dollars not the best at converting money but again we want to make this simple and yeah that's why that's one of the reasons i went for this one instead of the ones that stick out so this is how it looks like so we've got a pretty equal, pretty equal you know center right here uh now we're gonna put in some screws here 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 on the inner corners not on the outer as you can see that they, they don't really fit when i've done all four, four of them i'll come back to you guys and see what i think about them so yeah let's let's drill them in shall we So we've done this with one wheel and check it out pretty solid spins freely and yeah i mean these these are the screws i did i did use uh, they're pretty thick so they'll hold them in place i mean again the size of the screws will uh, vary on the type of wheel you get so um i mean these are the ones that i went for and i went for the right screws so now we have to do this on all the other three wheels so let's get on to it now done put all the wheels in now let's flip this over and check how it looks like hey we did it that is dope we did it 
obviously because of the rough surface um it's a bit bouncy but overall it looks good um there's also brakes on it so you say say if like you're on a, like a kind of a, like a slope you can put the brakes on and it won't go nowhere so yeah i'm really happy with that and you've reached the end of today's video uh, i know it was a bit like that out of the way but the reason i'm ending right here is because the video will be too long so what i decided to do i'm going to do two parts as i mentioned in the beginning i'm going to do two parts and the next part you'll see is the continuation of this video so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i didn't really do an outro that's why i'm doing it like this uh hope you guys enjoyed uh hit that thumbs up button right down here uh subscribe if you're new i hope you enjoyed i also want to thank you guys for wanting subscribers i mean it was super fast i i actually shared one of uh my videos uh in a in various group pages and uh you know people subscribe so i want to thank you guys for uh, actually subscribing uh thank you very much we're i can tell you that this year is going to be uh, a year of growth we're going to grow our channel and we're going to be able to do amazing stuff that's something i'll tell you so um i really thank you guys for subscribing uh 1k subscribers still growing uh thank you guys very much um let's continue growing continue sharing and uh yeah uh I, i'm really thank you thankful for uh every you know all you thousand subscribers thank you very much i hope you enjoyed part one of this project and part two i can assure you you're gonna like it uh, the end result uh, by the time you're watching this the cage is completely finished my birds have moved in uh i know you're you can hear them still here but we are about to move them out here outside so uh yeah hit that thumbs up button share this with your friends i mean anyone that has a uh budgie or bird canary uh, uh finches you know cockatiel any kind of bird share this with them and uh, uh, inspire them to actually you know build something for for their birds so i'll see you guys on part two and yeah god bless you all have a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye bye Hello.